Hey, Dr. Romano, I heard on SDN, I don't need to know the Robinson annulation. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and creator of all the Orgo Man books. First thing, whatever you hear on SDN, do the opposite. So take anything that are posted by dental students with a grain of salt. The Robinson annulation first appeared in our brand new 2018 Destroyer edition, where I do a reaction on the Robinson. I can't really predict if the Robinson will show up on a DAT exam, but I can't think of any reason that it can't. The Robinson reaction is one of our biggest reactions in all of organic chemistry to build six-membered rings, along with the deals older. So whenever you're building a steroid, for example, we would use the Robinson annulation. The reason why the Robinson annulation kids have the most trouble with was it's actually two reactions in one. It's a Michael reaction, followed by an intramolecular aldol reaction, and then usually we do a dehydration afterwards. So that's why it's a little bit tough. So I'm gonna make you a deal. I'm gonna first show you the trick. After I show you the trick, if you wanna turn off the tape, turn it off and be on your merry way and you're good. But if you wanna stick around to see the mechanism so you can understand the chemistry, then I'll go to the second half of the video on the other board. Fair enough? Come on in and take a look. Now, in the Robinson reaction, what you're going to usually look for is a species that's got a double alpha proton. And as you can see, there's a double alpha proton between the two carbonyls. I'm going to react it with what we call the acceptor molecule. And that's going to be an alpha beta carbonyl compound. Usually it's an alpha beta carbonyl. Not always, but for our purposes, let's assume alpha beta carbonyl. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in base, solvent, and then heat it. Now, here's the deal. The base is gonna first remove off the double alpha. And then this double alpha is gonna attack the beta position. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna break the double bond, Envision you move the double bond over and give this carbon an H. So that would put this on. So I'm hoping you can see that this carbon right here represents this carbon right here. So you hook it on. CH2, and then you add an H to here. There's a CH2, there's the C double bond O, CH3, and that was a simple Michael reaction. So what we've done is we did the Michael. Now what we're gonna do is we keep going. There's gonna be more base, and what that base is gonna do is simply remove off this H. So I want you to envision if this H is removed, we, we latch it on to this carbon. So you break the double bond O, make it into an OH, and latch it on. Now, if you look at the colors, I did it for you, so you can see there's the CH2, 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 and then, as you can see, with this H off, that's the CH2, and then you hook this up like that. And then the O that opened up becomes an OH. So what I've just done was the intramolecular aldol. Then you heat it up. When you heat it up, you split off water. You take off the OH, <clears throat> and you take off the H adjacent to the carbonyl, and that's where you would put the double bond. And that's the type of problem that I had in the destroyer book, and this would be a good multiple choice question. So one more time, all we would do is to remove off the double alpha and add it to the beta position. That's simple, it took a second. Then you're gonna go for your ring. So you're gonna remove an H from here. You wanna try to form a six membered ring. So if you remove that H from here, and then you joined it to this ring, and then pulled off an H. Usually we continue it on to get the conjugated species. All right, I hope you can see what I've just done is the famous Robinson annulation. Now, if you want to pull off the tape at this point, you can end the tape right now. And I think you're set for the debt. And that's for the kid that's going for the 30. But if you want to just look at the mechanism with me so we can get an understanding, so you know the way the arrows move and there's no mystique, let's explore it together. 
In the very first step, I remove the double alpha proton to form the enolate. This enolate is resonance, so I just wrote etc. I'm not gonna write all the resonance because it's gonna make it look like a real mess. So what I did is I formed the enolate. Now that enolate is gonna be what we call the Michael donor. It's gonna donate electrons and act as a nucleophile and it's gonna attack the beta position of the Michael acceptor. So there's the attack, the electrons move out and that gives me this. And then all I simply do after the Michael addition, and notice I put different colors so you can see it, pick up an H in the protonation step and that would be the end of the Michael. Once you're at the end of the Michael, now we do the start of the aldol. So what I do, you're going to take base, you remove off the H, you form an enolate, and then I show you where we're going to do this intramolecular attack. Boom! As you can see, there's my attack, and these electrons move out, you pick up an H, and that would bring me to here. Then the final step is a simple acid-base reaction. We pull off an H that would give this carbanion. This electron moves down and this moves out. Normally an OH is a poor leaving group, but not in a basic reaction type of environment like this. The OH is a perfectly good leaving group. You're used to seeing an OH as a poor leaving group in acid, but in base it can perfectly leave and the driving force would be the conjugated molecule. Anyone's curious, we did this reaction and it was 65% yield. I hope this helps. For the guy that's going for the A, if you can understand the way these arrows moved, it gives you a great understanding of a reaction that's one of the most challenging for, for kids taking the organic chemistry course. But like I said, in addition to the deals older, we use this reaction all the time to make things like steroids and natural products. All right, that'll wrap this video up. I hope this gives you a good idea. And check out the one we have in the new edition of the Destroyer book. All right, bye-bye.